Hello, my name is Lyubomir Bohoyavlinsky. I am a Ukrainian philosopher, psychologist, poet and writer. Now I will read a philosophical lecture about the theory of Heraclitus Everything is flux. Heraclitus of Ephesus, c. 535-475 BC, is a pre-Socratic Greek philosopher. Where are the early Greek philosophers seek to uncover scientific explanations for the physical nature of the cosmos? Heraclitus sees it has been governed by a divine logos, sometimes interpreted to mean reason or argument. Heraclitus considers the logos to be a universal, cosmic law according to which all things come into being, and by which all the material elements of the universe are held in balance. It is the balancing of opposites, such as day and night, and hot and cold, which Heraclitus believes leads to the unity of the universe, or the idea everything is part of a single fundamental process, or substance, the central tenet of monism. But he also states that tension is constantly generated between these pairs of opposites, and he therefore concludes that everything must be in a permanent state of flux or change. Day, for instance, changes into night, which in turn changes back again to day. Heraclitus offers the example of a, ra of a river. Heraclitus offers the example of a river to illustrate his theory. You can never step into the same river twice. By this, he means that at the very moment you step into a river, fresh water will immediately replace those into which you initially placed your foot, and yet the river itself is always described as one fixed and unchanging thing. Heraclitus' belief that every object in the universe is in a state of constant flux runs counter to the thinking of the philosophers of the Milesian school, such as tales and Anaximenes, who define all things by their quintessentially unchanging essence. The road up and the road down are one and the same. Heraclitus. Best regards, philosopher Lubomir Bogoyalinsky.